Hello there, today I'm going to show you one of the most popular way to tie your tie using windsaw knot, also known as double windsaw or full windsaw. Before we start, you should know your tie has a fat end and a skinny end. It also has two sides, the face side is smooth and the thin side is on the back. Alright, let's start with the thin side is facing down and place it around your neck flat against your body so here's the part we're gonna adjust for length you put on the fat end so the skinny end is right about at your rib cage. you take the fat end and cross it over the skinny ends creating an axe with one of the hand take hold of the center of the axe with another hand take the fat end and thread it through the hole and now take the fat end again go behind the hole at this point, you will have the thin side out. Take the fat end again, go into the hole. And now you will have the triangle. As you have the triangle, we're going to take the tie and go across the triangle. But before that, place one of your finger over here. And now, take the fat end go through the hole from the back and then tag the fat end again put it to the hole that have your finger in using that finger to pull the tie out and keep pulling just to tie the knot make sure you don't lose the skinny end when you tie it and you can squeeze the bottom of the knot just to help form the purple shape. And now all you need to do is grab the skinny end and hold the knot. Push and slide. Push and slide. Push and slide. Tidy up a little bit just to make sure everything looks nice. And now you can flat the collar down and bingo for the windsor knot thank you for watching